and today we're focusing on mom. And yes, you can have coffee on this program. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Recently, my husband and I have started a whole new wellness program and we've actually stuck to it for about six weeks now. Ultimately, what I'm following is The Thinner, Leaner, Stronger by Michael Matthews. I feel like this book is really all I needed to get started. I'm gonna take you through a whole day and break it down exactly what we're doing. Every morning I start with a pre-workout drink and then I go work out first thing. I really like to do it pre-fasting and just kind of get it over with. I think it also gives me tons of energy and gets my day started on a good note. But now that I'm done with my workout, I'm gonna have a post-workout mixed drink. This one definitely tastes much better than the pre-workout. And then I typically have a protein drink right after my workout. This thing really keeps you full for a really long time, but also I think just helps your body to recover. I've tried so many different protein drinks and I swear the Fair Life Nutrition Plan is like the only one that's actually delicious. So I will drink at least one of these a day and then sometimes I actually drink two just depending on my protein intake. Now by no means am I a bodybuilder. You can tell that my body is not that at all. I am a woman who recently had two kids. Uh, my kids are three and 16 months old. So I am just trying to figure out in a healthy lifestyle also lose some of that baby weight, but also get something that makes me feel good, gives me energy and all of that. I would say this program is broken out into three parts. First is nutrition. If you eat more calories than you burn, you will gain weight. And in order to lose weight, you definitely have to reduce the number of calories. I did a whole metabolic rate screen that my husband sent me to, to figure out how many calories I actually an average burn a day, but I do have a calculator linked here so you can go ahead and figure out what is kind of your base calorie. Then in his book, he shares kind of a percentage that you should reduce so that you know how many total calories per day you should eat if you're trying to lose weight. It is not just calories. I've done calorie counting before, but I've never done macros. And macros is really trying to focus on what are those calories? Are they mostly fat? carb or protein and i emphasize protein because we all probably eat way less protein than we should once you figure out how many calories you need what i would recommend is get on your phone and download the food nom app so that's what i use and i use the free version you do not need to pay for it and then you're going to follow a 40 40 20 rule so you're going to do 40 percent of your calories from protein 40% of your calories from carbs and 20% of your calories from fat. This book really breaks it down how to figure out exactly what 40% means for you. allowed a cheat meal once a week. Now everyone does this differently and he does talk about what you can do. I personally like to allow myself one glass of wine at my cheat meal and what I will make sure is throughout that day I will make sure to eat plenty of protein and cut down my carbs and fat and reserve that for my cheat meal. I do try to stick still within the calories and so once a week I go out to dinner with friends with my husband and that is why I feel like this is super doable. Number two is all around fitness. So luckily during COVID we actually finally did our gym 
and I must say my husband fully stocked us. Give this video a thumbs up if you did any kind of remodeling during COVID. Strength training. Now you could do three, four, or five days, but I also love my Peloton and wanted to make sure I do that two or three days a week. And so I set a goal of three days a week and I think it has worked really well for me. So Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are my strength day. He actually breaks it down What on those three days, what are the exercises you should do and how many reps and all of that. For my workouts, I actually use an app called Strong and I love it. I preloaded all the three different workouts in there. And again, just the type of exercises I'm doing. And then I rotate through them. So my Monday is always the same, my Wednesday is always the same, and my Friday is always the same. You actually don't do too many reps and you take plenty of rest because the idea is actually to build yourself stronger. And so you increase the weight as you go. The reason that you want to make sure you're eating plenty of protein is the idea is while you're losing weight, you actually want to prevent from losing too much muscle. I will say this part, I was really intimidated. I always thought that women shouldn't lift heavy weights, but I have loved it. I can now deadlift and I can squat. I am feeling really strong, but also I am seeing that my body is actually thinning out. I am not getting bulkier. I am actually feeling leaner and thinner while I guess also stronger, which makes sense because that is what the book is called. <laughs> It's pretty difficult to make sure that you're watching all your calorie intake, but also making sure you are getting all the necessary vitamins every single day. We've chosen to add a few vitamins into our routine. Now this portion is definitely optional, so keep that in mind, but it works for us. Uh, so first I have to shout out this <laughs> pill case that we got off of Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below, but it's pretty nifty. And then each day you can kind of take one on your own. So if you're traveling or just going to dinner, you can go ahead and take your vitamins out. So today we're going to go ahead and take our vitamins. And I just take them morning and evening. Even Michael will admit he was very skeptical of any kind of supplements, but he found that it was difficult for him to find what he really needed. And so he created his own, no surprise. Um, but what I like about these is they give all the details of all their ingredients, even all the other ingredients. So it's very spelled out for you. And it's specifically intended for people who are doing the program, who are focusing on not only losing weight, but also maintaining and building muscle. And so this, I think, really helps nourish some of those things. Things we use are the pre-workout, the post-workout. We do take two that are fat burners, one that is a pre-workout and one that we take with all our morning vitamins. And then, and then just a fish oil. There's not too many, even though it seems like there's a lot, you kind of get used to it. All right, so the real question is, does this work? I have tried many different programs and I have stuck to this one for six weeks and do not plan on pausing anytime soon. Now, from a weight standpoint, I've actually lost about six pounds and I feel like in other programs I would have lost more, but I do truly think that more of that is true fat while I've also gained muscle. Regarding how I feel, my clothes are definitely fitting better. I have some ways to go, I'm not gonna lie to you, but my clothes are definitely feeling better. I feel like I have more energy. And all in all, I feel like this is doable. I feel like it is pretty simple for me to keep up and keep doing. But this was just my intro of kind of what I do on a day to day for this program. I by no means am an expert. I am a mom, I am not a physical therapist, I'm not a fitness instructor. All I did is pick up a book, and just get started. I think I'll do an update in about once I've done this for six months and show you guys the before and after. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you at my next one. Bye.